Hey everyone, in this short Unity tutorial, we're making a player health system that allows the player to take variable damage and ultimately to die. Hi, I'm Matt with Nightrun Studio. I'm currently working on my dream game Willard and making tutorial videos as I go. This latest series is going to look at creating a health system in Unity. So first off, I've just got a player in my scene, and he's set up quite simply with a rigid body, which has all of its default values, except that I've frozen the Z rotation so that he doesn't fall over. On my box glider, I've also left everything at its default values and just set it up around the player. Similarly, my enemy just has a box glider and rigid body with their default values. Let's go ahead and create our first script. This will be a C-sharp script, which we'll just call health. All right, so we're just gonna begin by creating a couple of variables. The first will be a public integer to keep track of our health. And the second will be another public integer, which will be our max health. For now, let's just initialize that at 10. Next up, when the game first begins, we wanna make sure that health is equal to max health. This will just make sure that our health goes to full whenever the game begins. I'm also gonna come down below my update method here, and we're gonna create a new public void method called take damage. Now the reason we want to make this a public method is so that our other scripts can talk to it, like for example our enemy. Now we're actually going to pass in some parameters here into this method. We're going to pass in an integer called amount. So now inside of this method we're just going to make health minus equals amount. And so this will take our current health and subtract whatever damage amount was passed in. At this point, we just want to check to see if the player has in fact died. So we could go if health is less than or equal to zero, add our curly brackets, and then down here, all that we're going to do for now is simply destroy the game object. Because this is on the player, it will destroy the player if his health gets below zero. Let's save that and pop back into Unity. Now when we get back into Unity, we can just click on our player, go over to add component, and type in health. You'll notice his health is at zero, but let's hit play. And as soon as the game starts up, you'll notice our health goes to full. All right, that's working so far. Next up, what we need to do is give our enemy the ability to damage the player. So let's create another new C-sharp script. Let's call this one damage. All right, so here we're just gonna decide how much damage we want to make. I'm gonna make a public integer called damage. And for now, let's actually initialize that to 2. Next, I'm just going to come down below Update, and we're going to create an on collision enter 2 d And at this point, it creates a new keyword, collision, which is a way to refer to the object that it just hit. So here's what we'll do. We'll type in if collision.gameObject.tag is equal to player. Then add our curly brackets, and just quickly, let's pop back into Unity. This tag is just a way for the enemy to distinguish when he's colliding with the player as opposed to other objects. And so let's just click on our player, and over here in tag, we're going to want to select player. Now anytime the player collides with the enemy, he'll have the ability to deal that damage, but first he needs to be able to talk to the player. So first of all, come up here, and we're just going to make a reference to the player's health script. Here we're going to make a public reference. We type the name of the script that we want to talk to, the health script, and in this case I'm going to type in player health, so that when we're in Unity we know that we're actually talking about the player's health script. At this point, we can come down to our on collision method, and if the enemy hits our player, we just want to talk to the player health script, so we type that, hit a dot, and now we should have access to that take damage method, which is why we made it public. So we're going to say player health dot take damage, and then our brackets here, we're just going to pass in the amount of damage we want to take, which in this case isn't a number, it's this damage variable. So we'll type in damage. Now anytime the enemy collides with player, he should try to tell the player health script to take damage. The only problem at this point is that our enemy doesn't know where to find the player health script. I'm just going to save this. Now back in Unity, we could just click on our enemy now, go to add component, and add that damage script. You'll notice our two damage is there, however it doesn't know where the player health is. One solution is just to grab our player and drag him into that box, and this should work just fine. Let's test it this point now, if I click on my player, let's watch his health, and it should work that every time I collide with the enemy, I lose two health. Excellent. And at zero, my player dies. That's working great, however there's a problem. If your enemy is a prefab that gets spawned into the game, it will lose this reference to the player's health script. So we need to go into our code and tell the code how to find the script on its own. 
All right, now the good news is that we already have a place in our code where we are finding the player down here in our on collision enter method. Right now, this code only runs if we have collided with the player. So let's use that as the place where we can find the player's health script. So here we can type in that the player health script is equal to, it'll be our collision.game object. So it'll find the player. And at this point, we just want to look on the player to find his health component. So we'll type in get component health. Open and close it with some brackets, and then end that off. Now, each time we collide with the player, we'll find his player health script, and then on the next line, deal damage to it. Now, we could leave it like this, and things would work just fine. However, I know some people watching this are not going to like the redundant checks, because once he's found player health, we don't have to keep finding it. So I'm just going to add one more statement here, and we'll say if player health is equal to null. That just means if he has not yet found the player health script, then we'll look for it. And then I'll just put this player health into brackets here. So now we'll only look for the player health script if we don't have it, but we'll always deal damage. And one final improvement while we're in here, because we have now programmed the enemy to find the health script on his own, we can switch this variable from public to private. That way other scripts can't modify it, and it'll save us from creating problems down the road as our game gets much larger and more scripts are talking to this one. All right, let's save that and try it out. All right, so now upon entering the game, my health resets to full. And each time I hit the enemy, my health does indeed go down by two as planned. All right, I hope you found that one helpful. Stay tuned for more episodes in this series. The next one will add a slider health bar. Till next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.